out how you can debug your PowerShell code with the help of IZ steroids. First of all, to debug something, let's have some code here. Let's say I have a variable a equals 1, then I'm adding something to it, and then I'm outputting it. Right host a foreground color red. Now to debug things, you see here's a new icon, that's a bug. And this bug tells you that it's currently disabled because your script is not saved. To debug, you always have to make sure your script is really a script, so you have to save it first. Let's do that. Test ABCD. Once I have saved my script, this bug turns red, so now I can do two things. I can toggle breakpoints or I can right-click this bug and then, for example, remove all breakpoints, disable all breakpoints and more. So it's really easy to set breakpoints. Let's just click into this line, click the bug, do the same here, click the bug, and now if I wanted to, I could disable all my breakpoints or enable them again. And once I run my script, you'll see another feature of IC Steroids. Just watch. I'm now running my script, and as you can see, this new button is blinking, indicating visually that the debugger is still active. So always make sure when this is blinking that you're really debugging something or else you can always click this button to stop your debug session. Now do it again. We start it. The script will stop at this point. This thing is blinking and here are three new icons. This icon here would be a step over. A step over is really going to the next step in the same level that you are. So when I click this, it'll go to right host. Likewise, this is a step in. This would go to the next step regardless of where it is. So if you're calling a function, it would jump into that function and then continue to step inside of that function. And this is a step out. So it would continue until it reaches the same level, uh, the next level that was calling this. I'll show you this in a second. For now, let's just stop this again. Now do something more complex. Create a function. Function, get something, hello, world. Now I'm calling this function here. Get something. Okay. So now let's do the same thing again. I'm running the script. The debugger is invoked. I can now step over, which I'm going to do now. I'm stepping over. So I'm not going to visit my function. I'm simply stepping over it. The function will be executed and then the script is done. Now I do the same thing. This time I'm using step in. So I'm going to the next step in my level and now I'm going to the next step regardless of level. So I'm jumping into my function and I'm continuing to debugging inside of my function. And once I'm done, I'm back in my parent scope. Now let's do the same thing again. This time I do step in again. So I again visit my function and now I'm clicking step out. Step out would now continue world until the function is done and stop at the next um, next statement that is outside, right here. If you uh, debug things, you'll note that when you are in the debugger, you can hover over variables and then IC will show you the content of that variable. But you can, de you can do even more. You can, for example, open the variable monitor and here you see in real time your current variables. You see A is one. Now I'm stepping one step over and you can immediately see A is now two. So you can actually watch your variables as they change. But there's more. If, for example, you just want to monitor one specific variable, simply right click that variable, go to, go to debugging and choose monitor. This will place the variable on a custom list and you can have as many variables on this custom list as you want. So this time, when I start this and step on, I see only the variable that I am monitoring. Note that in the variable var uh, monitor, you can always choose what you want to see. These are your user variables. And to ensure that in the test run, you are not influenced by older content of uh, variables that were defined previously, you can click this symbol here to clear all your current variables. So you can freshly start. Another option you have is to click this icon up here. This would run your script in a different outside console, so you have a clean environment um, outside the ISE. 
There's a couple of more things. For example, let's take this script. Or let's take the same script but change it a little bit. I take out the function again. Let's get out of it. I want to remove all my breakpoints. So I simply click right click this thing, remove all breakpoints. And now I am assigning a, a, a value of hello. Okay, double quote, it wasn't necessary. Let's correct that. And um, obviously, this is a number, this is a string, so I have a change in type. That is sometimes an indication of that there's something wrong. What I can do here now is, let's do some more. Now I'm also reading the variable, and also reading it again. Now, when I take a look at my script variables, I can see I have a variable A in my script. When you right click this, you have a debugger menu here where you can set special breakpoints break on read, break on write, break on type change. So if you choose break on read, for example, you don't see any, any breakpoint because it's a dynamic breakpoint now. So I, when I launch this, the debugger will stop whenever the variable A is read. Right here, right here, right here, and right here. So uh, to get rid of these, you can always go to debug and then remove all breakpoints or choose it in the, the menu here, remove all breakpoints. Now let's change this to break on write. So I want to stop whenever that variable is changed, actually. So here, 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 and that's it. Now isn't that cool? You can also do one special thing. Right click, debugger, break on type change. So what that means is the debugger will stop whenever the variable changes its data type. Right here, and you can read it. A change type from null to int32. Right here, it changed from int32 to string. And as a best practice, you should probably make sure that your variables do not change type. That's always bad, bad um, scripting behavior. All right, that's um, all for now for the script debugger and the uh, enhancements in IC steroids. Thank you. Bye bye.